it's fall again. That means the leaves are changing, the weather's getting colder, and signs for political office are popping up everywhere. Chairman of the Isabella County Republican Party, Matt Golden, explains more about campaign signs. You know, political signs are one of the most grassroots uh, efforts of any campaign. And what it does is it allows people to invest in your campaign through allowing you to advertise in their front yard. You know, they're, they're a great part of the campaign, uh, is what it comes down to, and they really uh, allow again people to show their support for the local candidates. I would say here in Mount Pleasant we've seen double the number of yard signs go out this year uh, of people who want to say yes I want to support this person and I want everybody to know it. Of course Republicans aren't the only ones putting up signs but political director of the Isabella County Democratic Party John Barker explains there's more to a campaign than just signs. Um, there's another theory and that is that uh, signs don't make a difference or they make such a small difference that you can eliminate them. In fact, the Obama campaign uh, feels very strongly that signs don't vote. It's more important to uh, do direct voter contact than to worry about having signs all over the place. Often the greatest demand for a sign comes from people who have an opponent sign right next door. Oh, they have a McCain sign. I gotta have a Bi Obama Biden sign right there. However, a political campaign can't go completely signless, but setting up those campaign signs isn't as easy as you might think. You know, one of the real challenges is to find um, a, uh, a version sign territory where not everybody else's sign is there so that your sign can be more noticed. Uh, uh, so just sign placement is a, um, is a tough job. It takes a bit of doing it probably most nervous experiences of my life with signs was when I got a phone call. I went on, on a, what we call a sign blitz the night before and put up signs in all these yards of people who said, hey, I'm willing to host a sign. I got a call the next morning from a lady who said, my front yard is flooded, your yard sign struck my sprinkler line, and my entire front yard is underwater. Long story short, you know, it, it ended up not being our yard sign that did it, but <laughs> nervous couple hours there until they found out, you know, what exactly the cause was. For New Central 34, I'm Justin DePreckle.